to change in any way. So that's a big moment, 1929. He's now part of an art world. He's well known in Spain. He's now quite strongly linked <laughs> with the Surrealist group, at least because of Gala. And he's starting to find his style. And to begin with, the fellow Surrealists are interested in what he does. Uh, this is a very interesting work because here we start to see, I suppose you could see, what does Surrealism do for Dali? I'm going to be a little bit cynical here. This is called The First Days of Spring. What can we identify here that we've already seen coming up in some of the other works, not just by Dali, but by other artists on the go at the time? Well, we've got an element of realism here, strong realism. Um, we've got a landscape that's got a horizon on it, a vanishing point, And we've got very, very strong three dimensionality. We've got this structure, for want of a better word, this step like structure leading up to a platform that actually exactly expires at the point of the horizon. If you look at the uh, um, the, the right-hand background, you can see we're building up to something and then it just becomes simply part of the horizon. So illusory three-dimensionality, that would appeal to Dali. Lots of very solid forms, some of which are, shall we say, distorted, are very difficult to, to name or describe, like the image in the foreground there. A vase becomes a fish, but also then develops hair at the top. But other things are very, very well executed, little representations, things that are absolutely identifiable. We've got a painting within a painting in the lower left there. And on the right, we've got some kind of almost kaleidoscopic cubist kind of uh, composition. So what does surrealism do for Dali? Well, I suppose there's two ways of, 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 of answering this. One would be that it's part of his way of exploring the subconscious, of the things that are in his own subconscious, helping others to unlock their subconscious. He called it, and he was coining this by about this time, his paranoiac critical method. That's his own branding for his type of surrealism. If we're being cynical, we could notice something else, and that Dali is an exceptionally good draftsman and an exceptionally talented painter. Highly trained, yes, but also just innately skillful. Very, very skillful indeed. And he is trying to forge ahead with an art career that will take him to the very best places. We'll have him mentioned in all the best circles, at a time when those qualities are no longer valued. When the cutting edge artists are actually painting like barbarians, like children. When all the things that are once prized, all the things you can see on those works in the Prado that he spent his teens and early 20s staring at and admiring are being rejected and are being reviled. So how can he have both? How can he paint as a master? And he is a master. And how can he at the same time achieve the celebrity, the notoriety, the relevance in the now that he desires as well? And surrealism is a good route with which to do that. You see, if you're just saying, I'm going to respond to the visual world around me, well, artists have been breaking apart, fragmenting and tearing apart the visual world oh, ever since the post-impressionists. If you're saying I'm going to paint purely emotion, already artists have left behind any feeling that they have to represent physical forms. Think of the work of the expressionists, for example, Kandinsky, Clay and others. It's only really through surrealism that you can both be avant-garde and include physical, three-dimensional, visual representations of perceived reality as well. Why? Because you're painting the world of dreams, of thoughts, ideas, etc. And for them to have meaning, they have to have a shape. So that's my cynical interpretation of it. Surrealism allowed him to be a good artist in the way that he had been trained to paint real things, but to put them in very, very bizarre settings at a time when there aren't very many ways for an artist who wants to be avant-garde to do that. That's my view. See if you agree as we go through. 
this 